guys and welcome to another video but you're on vegan and frodo so today look at that stunning sunset that we have absolutely incredible today i wanted to do a slightly different video it's going to be a product review video of these new running shoes that i have the brand is merrill Merrill. I actually really like this brand. I've had quite a few pairs of their shoes. Not specifically running shoes, but shoes for walking, casual, for traveling, for gym workout. And these ones are like actually designed for trail running. You can see how cool the grip is on the... Like you can see how it's like... It's very... It's very, it's very legit. <laughs> I feel like this is very legit. So this is very suitable for the rains that we have <laughs> in Brisbane and the rainy weather that we have. Right now it's pretty nice actually. Not really ideal bike weather because it's been literally pouring all day. So I decided to go for a run. The light is doing funny things. And I'm gonna test these new running shoes out. So they're much thinner. The sole is way thinner than the hawkers that I was reviewing the other day. And they're not as high on the ankle. They're pretty thin. They're quite mesh-like at the front here. So if they get rainy, it kind of just goes through them instead of accumulating in the shoe. They're pretty light. And basically, I wanted to take you with me on my first run and these guys man they look so clean hey <laughs> and let you know how we went so let's check it out if you think i look a bit messy right now wait till you see me after the run <laughs> i just got home from work and it's been a crazy day and i rode in the rain back home so all kinds anyway see you on the road Wearing the new running shoes, thin, thin sole, thin base, they have thin base and I'm used to running with really really thick base shoes, wearing really thick base shoes so we'll just see how that goes, check it out, pretty, pretty wet, pretty slippery, let's get it done.
krvá. So I just got to the top of Mount Kutha. I know the lighting's not ideal. There you can you can see me right there. Hey, it's actually not bad lighting. Right, so how I'm feeling. I actually didn't run like all the way. I walked some of like more of the steepest parts. And then I ran more of the like kind of you know straight on or slightly inclined bits. I'm feeling pretty awesome, feeling pretty good. I haven't actually run uphill for a while, so that was pretty good. I do love hiking though, so definitely along those lines, I definitely enjoyed it. The view is absolutely beautiful, the sunset is gorgeous. And what can I say about the shoes? So, I don't know, I was recording things, so hopefully you saw a bit of the train and the road and stuff like that. So basically it is still pretty wet, as you can see there. So there's a whole bunch of asphalt road, like bitumen road. There are also painted road, like the bicycle path that's painted, and also different sections of the road, like, you know, when you're about to go to a T section or an intersection, and there's like a big chunk of the road painted for people to stop, um, right? That was part of the train, and also there was some gravel. So I found some kind of trail running area as well so I was running through that what can I say about the shoes the shoes that I'm wearing this new there you go you can have a look have a quick look see uh, Meryl. so the grips are really really good on the gravel and on the like branches and bushes and trail running right and on the asphalt that's pretty good when you get onto the path for um, like the bike path or the painted stuff or a really really smooth asphalt it gets a bit slippery so I suppose they're not as good for that the actual sole I like the way how it's flat on the heel and on the ball of the foot to like that front bit I can show like this bit here and here but I think for my I just specifically I'd need another insole just to slightly lift it like you saw the one I have for my cycling shoes the specialized ones like the same kind of thing I think would work a little bit better just for the foot support and would like lift the arch a little bit more so that'd be more comfortable I think I might have gotten just a little bit of in regards to blisters like nothing around the foot itself but I think it's just inside of the arch again like the way it's feeling right now it wasn't one particularly big run it was like 5k for a bit of an uphill and all in all i really like the shoes i'm keen to try them out with an insole with a little bit of a raise on the arch the cool thing is is there's like a mesh all the way through here and like the whole thing is a mesh so it's pretty wet it's really humid right now it's really wet it's still somewhat spitting raining here and there and they're good they're good they're pretty comfortable i've had shoes before running shoes where you feel like you have like a whole big thing of rain <laughs> in your shoe that makes the shoe heavier so you don't get that with these shoes and pretty pretty nice pretty sweet support i like how it feels flat on the road just need that little bit of an archway raise hope you're having an awesome wonderful day remember to stop counting calories start counting hills count your adventures count your passions I'll see you again soon. Thanks for watching. Bye.